Hello and welcome back to Talks at Fatherland. Today we'll be talking about the Great Zimbabwe. And with me on this topic is... Lanrio Latunji. We're very happy to have you here. Thank sir. you. And I remain Fiona Nana. Talks at Fatherland. Great Zimbabwe, a UNESCO World Heritage Site between the 11th and 15th centuries, serving as the heart of a flourishing kingdom. It connected the African interior with the Indian Ocean. The Great Enclosure, a mortalist stone structure, remains its centerpiece. Its purpose debated as either a palace, religious site, or ritual ground. Abandoned in the late 15th century, its decline is attributed to environmental shifts and political instability. Regardless of its exact function, Great Zimbabwe symbolizes Africa's rich pre-colonial history, celebrating the continent's cultural legacy and architectural prowess. Talks at Fatherland now, Mr. Larry, what is the significance of the Great Enclosure of Great Zimbabwe? Yeah, uh, I will start by saying Great Zimbabwe is an enclosure okay. that was found in present-day Zimbabwe, and uh, it was built by Sona people. That was the native uh, people of Zimbabwe at that time. Okay. They were Bantu-speaking people, and uh, it was between 11 to 15th century that this great Zimbabwe was built. And the great Zimbabwe was, uh, according to the historians and the archaeologists, they discovered this, uh, this uh, you know, structure in form of, uh, you know, uh, it was built by granite. They call it a dry stone mm. without mortar. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's 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 you know it's it's like uh, you know um, a, an intriguing something that is it's it's fascinating yeah yeah it's fascinating yeah. and uh, looking at it as a pure stone and uh, with clinical in structure mm-hmm. which signify that it's not just a structure yeah it's either for royal a palace yes or for ceremonial uh, and ritual. Uh, you know, religion is ceremonial uh, purposes. purposes. Wow. Okay. So, what are the main arguments for those who believe Great Zimbabwe was royal palace? Yeah. Uh, the only, uh, you know, um, f- factor that they use as a basis for their t- debates was the structure of the building, of the structure. That is, they believe that uh, it's not just a you know a residence because of the chronical shape of the building, of the structure. And uh, because it was purely granite, no mortar. That is, mortar means something like cement. No, yes. it was purely right. granite. Wow. So why, why is there debate about the purpose of Great um, Zimbabwe? Talks at Fatherland. Yeah, the debate uh, is because some were saying that uh, it was for, you know, uh, royal palace, and some believe that uh, it's for religious uh, and uh, uh, yeah, you know, religion and ritual ritual. For ceremony. Yeah, okay. Talks at Fatherland. Okay, so what factors contributed to the decline and abandonment of Great Zimbabwe? Yeah, according to the historians, the archaeologists, mm. three factors were identified. Okay. The first one was that uh, changing in the route of their trade. Mm. That is, taking the, uh, the gold, the Avorians from Africa to through India Ocean to their, you know, uh, partners, the route was changed. And the second factor was an uh, environmental factor, mm-hmm. which means that uh, as at that time, that is toward 15th century, the environment where they were are no more uh, conducive for them. Okay. They had to change. And uh, the third factor was uh, political instability. Mm-hmm. That's a horror in the region as, as at that period of time. 
and uh, because of that, they had to abandon the structure. Okay, so what role does Great Zimbabwe play in cultural heritage of modern Zimbabwe? Yeah, uh, this Great Zimbabwe, it is a pride for Zimbabwe. <laughs> Talks at Fatherland. The Zimbabweans, mm. because they believe that uh, uh, they have they witnessed civilization as at that time, because of that structure alone. And up to today, it's like it is like a, a you know a, a monumental structure for them, which it, it has been turned to uh, uh, what do they call it? Um, a tourist center mm -hmm. where people go to see how it was, how it was built that time. Okay, so I believe that um, the Great Zimbabwe is still going to be a subject for a very long time. Yes. Yeah, so with this, we've come to the end of this episode. This episode was sponsored by Four Media Music. Four Media Music is an online streaming platform where you can share music, listen, and upload. Till next time, I remain your host, Fiona Nana. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs> Talks at Fatherland.